Hi all. Uh, today's video is going to be <clears throat> uh, a car that I already built. It's the, uh, the DeLorean from Back to the Future in 125 scale. And this is a kit from Polar Lights. And it's like the only snap tight kit I have. It's the only DeLorean I could find. Um, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and, and ring that bell when you want to see more what I when I post. Now, Back to the Future is a really cool movie. I mean, like classic. And this the DeLorean is a classic as well. And uh, I found this kit was decent. It was it's a snap tight kit, so you know it's not as detailed as it could be. But I did a little extra work to it to try to, to fix some of those problems. The instructions are fairly simple, but you have a big sheet like this. And you have to kind of coordinate it. But because it's snap tight, they're not that difficult to follow. I did a lot of research on the internet, try to try to find the colors, what on the details, especially in the back and inside and in the interior. Um, this this side's in English. Car body, interior, chassis. Uh, the interior to the body and the body to the chassis and the power module and final assembly but it's all here on one big sheet so it was uh, but the number of parts aren't that bad so <clears throat> now let's look at that. now I built the I built from the first one where they had put the, um, back in the 50s, where they put the uh, cable for the, that could attach to the, get the, the lightning rod. Yeah. I didn't really tell you to paint any of these cables, but I did it anyways because it looks, you know, better. I just, I just lightly went over it, but I could probably do it better now that I have the better brushes too. I built this last year. I did a lot of research here on the whole power module. See how it was supposed to look. Because there wasn't very much um, in the instructions about it. That was the here in interior so there should be cables running along the top but at the time I couldn't find anything but now I have now I found these cables that would have worked great some old thin electrical wire and now it's too late but I might be able to take it back apart and run a cable some cables along the, the front here See if I can get an interior shot here with this light. A little difficult. I did a little extra on the inside too that wasn't included because. Uh, see, I was wondering about the AMT model if it was better the old one if it was more detailed or if this is just like a if this is just a, a snap snap version of the AMT model or what I also seen it's called a, 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 I think Aoshima has one but it's I, I, I took a look on the internet and it looks exactly the same so I'm wondering about the AMT kit if it's better because even though I am pretty satisfied with how it looks 
I would like to build another version, like uh, from the second movie. And there was no, there was no decal or anything. I mean, it doesn't even say DMC on the front. It should be a DMC there, but it wasn't on the decals, and it's not uh, molded on. So that's a little. You know, I find it a, a major, a major detail missing. But you can. I, I did look, and uh, you can order them on eBay. I think. For all the different the DMC, despite being a snap kit, I think it turned out pretty good. I did extra work on it, so it make it look so it was good, well, as best as I could do. I didn't do. I seen pictures where here it was dark, but it didn't look like that. It looked more gray. So that's the way I did mine. Yeah, uh, I painted it with uh, Revell um, iron spray or steel, Eisen iron, and uh, I think the color turned out pretty well. It probably doesn't exactly look like the brushed aluminum, but I find those details a little hard to make. And, well, that's a pretty easy kit to build. Takes a little extra work to get it up to par. I could I do still want to put some cables in the front. Other than that, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's painted mostly with Model Master. And here I use toothpick to get these little, the yellow in there. And that's how it looked on the movie. I, I took an extra, I, I looked at the movie extra to try to get as much detail from the back as I could. That's the DeLorean from Back to the Future, part one. My next review will be uh, of the aircraft, the Moraine Solner 406 C1 and 148 scale from Azine model.